and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you 10 Netflix series that you need to binge watch now. If I'm not watching YouTube, then I am most likely watching a series on Netflix. And these are my top 10 favorite ones. So I hope you like this because I think the best way to find out about the good series on Netflix is to get recommendations from friends. So I'm gonna share with you my list. There's a very eclectic mix in this. There are some gripping crime series. There are some lighthearted, easy to watch ones, some comedies, and also some documentaries that I love as well. So if you like this type of video please give it a big thumbs up and I'll know to make more like this and if you're new around here I would love for you to subscribe I'm Emily and I post three videos a week on a Monday Wednesday and Friday at 7 p.m. and I post about all kinds of different topics so I would love to have you as a viewer without further ado let's get into my top 10 so the first series that you need to binge watch if you haven't already is The Sinner this is an eight-part series in season one and it is gripping I was hooked in the first episode because in the first episode, a young mother murders someone on the beach in front of her family just while she's having a nice day out. And then you spend the rest of the season finding out why she did this, what happened, what's happened in her past to make her do this. She also has no memory of doing this. She kind of goes out of her head to a different place and that happens. So there's a detective and they spend time working out why this has all happened. And in the end, it all kind of makes sense. And I think there's nothing more satisfying than when you're watching a crime thing and then in the end you're like, Oh, and it, it all comes together and it's really, really good to watch. The lead in it is Jessica Biel, who is just amazing and beautiful and she's just a great actress. So I would totally recommend it. I've only watched season one, but apparently there is a season two now as well. I think we finished it in a week. The second series that you need to watch is The Handmaid's Tale. I have loved watching this. I've just watched season one and season two and I'm now waiting for season three to come out. It is it's amazing, but it's also a bit weird, especially the first few episodes that I watched, I was like, this is really uncomfortable to watch. I don't know if I like this. As a mother, it's quite hard to watch. Basically, it's based on the best-selling novels by Margaret Atwood, and it's set in the future. And in the future, birth rates have fallen, lots of women are not fertile anymore. So the government in the US becomes a totalitarian government. Is that, it's not a democracy, it's like the opposite, it's really bad. They make them have babies for the powerful couples. It's really weird, but it's also so amazing. So much happens in it. The lead in it is such a strong character. She just wants to survive for her children and children get taken away from mothers. And it is, it's really hard to watch, but you're so like, wanting her to get out and to survive. It's just really, really good, but it's the kind of series that has kept me up some nights. So see what you think. Watch the first like three episodes before you say, I don't wanna watch this, because it took me a little while to get into it, but then I was totally hooked. The third series is Big Little Lies, and I watched this because my friends really recommended it. I think I had to buy it, but it was really good. The two main leads in it are Reese Witherspoon and Nicole Kidman. It's set in California and it's like a murder mystery, but it's also quite funny in places So the three main characters are basically all mums and they're school mums together and a murder has happened And you're trying to find out why what's happened, but within that there's also loads of rumors gossip cheating all kinds of cool, like crazy things. The next series that I really wanted to recommend to you is one that I just stumbled across. It was a UK documentary and I just turned it on one day and I ended up totally loving it. It's called Reggie Yates Extreme. So Reggie Yates is a UK presenter and he goes around the world tackling different issues like um, in Africa or he does gay rights and violence, just all these extreme different issues. And it's just really interesting, it's real life life and I just really like him because he can be opinionated but he's always very fair with what he says and I found the ones that he did in South Africa really interesting he did one about the white slums in South Africa and it was just really crazy because I sort of never knew about them and he himself is mixed race so you could really see how he was torn like from either side because you know he was talking 
by the white people, but then also the black people, and he was kind of there in the middle, and I just found it was really, really good. So if you love a documentary, um, he's he's gone to South Africa, he's gone to Russia, he's gone all over. Uh, so yeah, I really enjoyed it. The next series that I was surprised how much I ended up loving is called White Gold. This is a comedy, and it was filmed in Essex, and it's based in Essex, which is where I live, so that might be why I really enjoyed it. I don't know if it'll be for everyone, it's very British humour, uh, but it's basically set in the 1980s, and it's these three salesmen who are in a double glazing showroom, they're selling double glazing to everyone, and they will do anything for a sale. It's really funny, and two of the salesmen are two of the in-betweeners, so if you enjoyed in-betweeners, you'll probably love them, because they're really funny in this as well. And then the main salesman in it, the main actor, is the guy who was um, Chuck Bass in Gossip Girl. So I didn't even realize that he was British, but he's very handsome, they're very cocky, they're so, like, they're bad, but it's really funny as well. So I would totally recommend it, especially if you live in Essex, check it out. I should probably say that it's called white gold because the white gold is the double glazing because it's basically just a piece of plastic, but they are selling it for so much money. The next series is called The Midwife. I love watching stuff like this. I love talking about birth. I love one born every minute. So this series was right up my street. Matt doesn't ever want to watch it with me, but if he's ever working late, I will watch called The Midwife. It's set in the 1950s. 50s, which is like my favorite decade. It's also in the East End of London. It's in Poplar, which is like not far from us at all. So it's really interesting. It's basically about a group of midwives that live in a convent and they go around delivering babies on their bikes and you kind of follow the women's stories who have the babies and it's happy and it's sad and it's funny and it's it's just really, really good. So I would totally recommend it as like a girly watch. The next series is called This Is Us. This was a really easy to watch series and I really enjoyed it. It was the kind of series that I could be editing on my laptop and have it on in the background. There's not like a massive plot line that you have to follow and watch. Um, I just really liked it. I think it's based in the 60s or 70s. It's about this couple who have triplets and then their triplets lives so one ends up being an actor one's a businessman they're all so different and they all do different things um and i really liked it the lead in it is mandy moore who is actually an amazing actress i did not expect her to be so good but she was brilliant in it and yeah it's funny it's just it's nice it's all about family Next up, I have another documentary for you, and this one is just the most remarkable story. It's called Twinsters, and basically these two identical twins were born in South Korea and separated at birth. They were both adopted to different families, one in France, one in America, and then 25 years later, um, the one who is French is studying in the UK, and she saw her twin sister in a YouTube video. And it's obviously just like looking at herself. So then she looked up her name, did a little bit of research and worked out that the girl that she saw on YouTube was born the same day as her, in the same city as her um, in Korea. And she's like, we must be twins. So she reaches out to her on Facebook and they just connect. And one of the girls, the YouTuber, is an actress. So she decides to document the whole experience. And it's amazing. It will make you cry. And it's just amazing that they found each other through the amazing world of like YouTube and the internet. The next series is called The Letdown, and it's a funny Australian series that I just came across randomly one day, and it's a comedy. So it's about this woman called Audrey, and she has her first baby, and it's about her finding her way through motherhood and all the challenges that we go through. And she goes to a mother's like meeting group, and it's all the different characters that you yourself has probably come across, you know, like the competitive mums and all the different types of mums. There's lots of quirky characters in it and it also goes through like how her and her husband's 
like relationship changes. It's just really funny and loads of the things in it, if you're a mum, you will relate to. So I'd really recommend it. And the last series that I wanted to recommend to you guys, but I feel like a lot of people have already seen this series, is Dexter. So there's eight seasons in this. I've watched them all and I've really enjoyed it. But especially the first season is just amazing. I loved it. So it's based in Miami. It's about this guy who works for the police as like a splatter of blood expert on crime scenes but he himself is a serial killer as well but he only kills guilty people so he only kills bad people so it's really weird to watch because you don't like that he's a murderer but you do like that these people are being brought to justice and then in the end there is a reason why he has this urge to kill and it's just really cool it's the kind of series though that will keep you up at night like if i would watch it that night i'd be like what's that sound what's that noise like it did make me a bit scared it is scary um but i really really enjoyed it so i wanted to recommend that one as well i was gonna say breaking bad as well i know it's so old and i'm sure so many people have seen it but breaking bad was such a good series um i really loved that so if you haven't seen that go and watch that as well but i'm sure loads of you have already seen that right so that is it for this video i really hope you enjoyed it if you want another one like this let me know because i do have another 10 that I could also recommend to you guys and I would of course love to hear your recommendations in the comments below because I'm always on the lookout for a good series to watch and yeah thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one bye bye